The 15 minutes of music that make up the B-side medley of the Beatles' Abbey Road album is one of the most spectacular engrossing sequences in all of recorded music. Up there with the fourth movement of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony or Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. For the fascinating story about how the medley came together, pardon the Abbey Road pun, check out the link in the description below to watch my first ever collaboration with Lance Osborne, creator of the very entertaining and very informative Beatles-related channel, Fab Four Archivist. Over here on my channel, as usual, I'm going to point out some of the oddities and anomalies of the first part of the Abbey Road B-side medley. And as a fair warning, once I point them out, you can't unhear this. Curiously, a number of the anomalies I'll point out were eliminated in the 2019 remix of Abbey Road, which raises an interesting question. Were these simply unintentional mistakes that slipped through back in 1969? The first track of the medley, You Never Give Me Your Money, has a couple of weird little anomalies toward the end. Starting at around 3 minutes 45 seconds during the outro, you can hear random talking in the background behind the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 vocals including someone yelling what sounds like, bloody hell, let's hear it first in the original version of Abbey Road. Now let's listen to the same section from the 2019 remix. You probably noticed that it's gone. For whatever reason, this ghost vocal, probably left over from one of the instrumental backing tracks, was either covered up or removed from the 2019 remix. In its place, there's a series of new guitar notes that weren't audible in the original mix. It's a great example of the creative decision-making that goes into a true remix, which involves taking the original master tracks and creating a mix from them, sometimes altering the way that a song has been heard for decades. Was this creative choice the right call? Let me know what you think in the comments. As the medley moves along, you Never Give Me Your Money rolls right into the next song, Sun King, with a tapestry of sound effects. Birds, bells, wind chimes, and crickets. These sound effects had actually been recorded by Paul McCartney at his home and brought into Abbey Road to be assembled into the final mix of the medley. But there's an interesting oddity here. In an early version of the medley, the only link between the two songs was a single organ music. Here's what it originally sounded like. I sort of wonder why they didn't combine both, since both sound actually pretty cool. Which version do you like better, the organ note or the ambient sounds? Let me know in the comments. On the next track in the medley, Mean Mr. Mustard, pay close attention to the tambourine which Ringo begins playing at around eight seconds. It starts out sounding pretty normal. But after around the 30 second mark, you may notice that the tambourine starts to noticeably drop in volume whenever anyone is singing. Thanks to the 2019 5.1 remix, we can listen to the isolated track of the tambourine and vocals, where this phenomenon is even clearer. So what's going on here? Well, there's a couple of possibilities. It could be that Ringo was just striking the tambourine with softer hits on the beats that happen to have vocals. But that seems unlikely, considering that's not how he plays it at all in the first part of the song. One theory suggests that it was lowered during the mixing process. That is, some engineer at the console was lowering the tambourine so as to not overpower the voice track. Yet another theory suggests that it's the effect of a limiter or compressor, which is a piece of studio equipment. Today it might be a software plugin used to flatten or compress sound above and below a certain decibel level, so that the loud and softer parts are at a more constant volume. Only place that he's ever been. Whatever the case may be, it's a quirky, organic studio anomaly that probably wouldn't have ever slid by in a modern recording studio. Moving on to the next song, Polythene Pam. If you listen closely at around six seconds, you can hear a ghost or guide vocal bleeding through quietly in the left channel. Admittedly, it's a bit tough to hear clearly, but thanks to the new 5.1 remix, if I isolate the channel, it's much clearer.
Toward the end of the song, it happens again, as you can hear one of the Beatles counting the measures of the guitar solo leading up to the outro. While it's pretty clear even on the final stereo mix of the song, let's listen to the isolated 5.1 step. Both of these guide vocals were likely picked up by the microphones used to record the instruments during the earlier takes of the song, which was a common practice as the Beatles often overdubbed their vocal tracks after recording the instrumental backing tracks. If you're interested in learning more about how guide vocals like these sometimes ended up in final mixes, check out the other video on my channel about ghost vocals. As for the last song from the first half of the medley, She Came In Through the Bathroom Window, I've always wondered exactly what John was saying during that transition from Polythene Pam. Thanks to the new 5.1 release, we can finally hear John loud and clear. Oh, listen to that now. <laughs> oh, look out! He's... She came in through the bathroom window. There's so much more to cover about the medley, but I'm going to save the rest of it for another video. To learn more about the fascinating story behind the medley, I highly encourage you to click the link at the end of the video to check out my special collaboration with fellow Beatles fan Lance Osborne, creator and host of the Fab Four Archivist channel. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and share for more episodes of You Can't Unhear This.